Hey, Talisman. Uh, we're going to go ahead and play this again. I'm going to do the third warrior quest. And this one's called Royal Delivery. So this is what we have to do. Got to travel to the ruins in the outer region. Got to kill the ogres. Then deliver the princess to the castle in the middle region. And if I become evil, I must abandon the princess in the desert instead. So let's get this game going. Okay, so to begin with... Got to go to the ruins and kill the ogres. That's fine. They're over here. So I'm going to have to uh, get my strength up a little bit. Let's see what these ogres are. Strength five. Okay, and I got to kill two of them. And then the princess will follow me to the castle. All right, let's go. Roll. I got a five. So let's go to the fields and draw an adventure card. Attacked by a wolf. This should be easy. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Uh, now, do I want to re-roll or do I want to lose a life? Uh, let's go ahead and re-roll. Okay. That means I win. And that wolf card goes to my trophy pile. So here we go. Three. I'm not ready for the ogres yet. Um, I'll go to the graveyard. Select the amount of fate to purchase so I can spend one gold to recover fate. I'm going to go ahead and do that because I may need to re-roll at some point. Okay, I'm not ready to go to the inner, I mean to the middle region yet because I'm not strong enough to beat the sentinel who is a strength of nine. So I'm going to go over here to the forest. Now I'm going to have to roll the die to see what happens to me in the forest. Four and a five means I'm safe. So I lucked out there. Okay. Next turn. Two. Again, I'm not ready to go to the ogres yet. So I'm going to go ahead and go to the village. All I can do, because I don't have gold to buy anything, and I don't have any gold, or I haven't lost any lives, so I can't go to the healer. So let's go to the mystic. I'm going to have to roll a die, see what happens. Two and three ignored. So I lucked out again. I like when nothing happens. Well, when nothing bad happens, I should say. All right, let's go to the fields. Draw a card. Wild boar. Let's go ahead and attack it. All right, that's not real great, but man. So if I use my fate, I could have a chance at winning. But right now, I'm going to go ahead and leave this. So it's a standoff. So the wild boar is going to stay in the fields. And next time I land on that square, I'm going to have to uh, fight the boars again. I, I won't be able to draw anything until that, the boars are gone. Now I could go to the forest again. I could either be attacked, lose a turn, or gain one craft. Let's go ahead and go there. Roll one die. Got a four, which is safe. Nothing happens. All right, so I got a two. Uh, there's nothing I can really do. I guess I'll go to the village. I've got to go to the mystic. So let's see what happens to me. I got a one. I am now evil. Or do I want to reroll? Let's stay evil. That's fine. Okay, I'm now an evil warrior. Okay, I got a six. So I can either go to the chapel... Uh, and if I'm evil, I lose a life. So I don't really want to go there. If I go to the tavern, uh, let's go ahead and go to the tavern. Okay, now I roll a die. I can either uh, get drunk and collapse in a corner and lose a turn. Uh, fight a farmer, strength of three. Gamble and lose a gold. Gamble and win a gold. A wizard teleports me to anywhere in this region. A boatman offers to ferry me to the temple. So let's see what happens. I get a one. Get drunk and collapse in the corner, so I just lose a turn. Yeah, okay. Number three. Let's go to the plains. Draw a card. An imp. You mean a mischievous imp. So it teleports me to the crags. Ding. So I go to the crags. Roll the die. And this will tell me what happens. I get a one attacked by a spirit of craft Four, which is not real good because I've only got a craft of two. I'm going to go ahead and use my fate 
and see what else happens. A two. Lost for one turn. Okay. So, man, that turn count's going up fast. I'll probably end up getting just uh, one talisman on this. Let's go to the fields. Draw, yeah, draw a card. A magic stream. That's the, Now, this will help. Four strength points are found here. Every time I come here, well, for the next four times, I gain a free strength. So now I'm a five, so that's going to help. Uh, let's go to the fields. Yep, go there. Draw a card. Yes, that adds one to my strength during battle. Getting stronger. Okay, five. I don't want to go th here being evil. Oh, wait a minute. This is the graveyard. Uh, for free or prey by rolling one die. Well, let's go there and see what happens. All right, either replenish fate up to your starting fate for free or prey to gain a fate or gain one spell. I'm going to replenish my fate for free. All right, so evil, you want to go to the graveyard. I, I, I don't know if I've ever been evil, so that's kind of a new one to me. All right, let's go to the field. We're going to fight this boar. <laughs> one strength. I should be able to uh, kill this thing by looking at it. Nine over four. How many trophies? A three. So it's still... Still not ready to gain a bonus strength yet. Look at these fields here. Draw a card. Ape. Okay. Yes, I've defeated this guy. Okay, so now, trophies. So now I've got six. One more combat, and I'll be able to turn those in to get an extra strength. Um. Now my question is, if I go here, uh, I don't know if I have to fight them both at the same time or separately. If it's at the same time, I don't think I'll be able to do it because they'd have a 10. Yeah, I'm going to wait just in case. I'm just not sure. Um, if I go here as evil, I lose a life. Uh, or do I go to... I don't need to go to the center. Well, I guess I'm... Well, the worst that can happen over here is I lose a life. Here, I'll automatically lose a life. So let's just see what the uh, combat is. Yeah, I do have to fight them together. So. Well, I got the best I could do. So that's fine. I mean, like I said, I was going to lose a life anyway going the other direction. Okay, and now I know for sure that I have to fight both of them together. Uh, have I used my fate? Yes, so there's no reason to go here. Let's go on over here to the hills and fight a wolf. This will be easy. Wow, I creamed this canine or whatever. Now let's turn in the trophies. Three, four, five, six, seven. And I still have the one over there. Uh, okay, so I'm now at a seven strength. Four. Now, if I go to the tavern, I might get gold. I might trans uh, teleport somewhere. I'm going to go here to the woods. Water bottle. You do not lose a life in the desert. Uh, that may come into play when I get to the middle region. Try, well, especially if I'm evil, trying to get the princess to the desert. Uh, so that's a good one to have for middle or late game. All right. I could go to the city. I could go to the enchantress. I could visit the doctor to heal my life, but I don't have any gold, so I can't do that. Uh, what was the other one? The the crags so I could either be attacked lost safe or gain one strength more than likely it would be one of these let's go ahead and go here and the force safe no effect okay I'll keep that roll move on 
three. I'll definitely go here because that's where the magic stream is. So I gain another strength. Okay, I'm about ready to try those uh, bandits again. I mean the ogres. Uh, let's go over here and draw a card in the hills. This is what I was hoping to get, clairvoyant. Now when I've got her, I will always have at least one fate point. So now I can re-roll whenever I want and not have to worry about running out. Okay, four, let's go here. Draw a card, dragon of seven. All right, let's see what happens. Always, oh, that's the best I could do, 14. And I cleaned this guy, plus now with him being a seven strength, I immediately go straight here and turn him in to gain that extra strength point. All right, that worked out pretty good for me. Um, let's go here. Let's take our chances at the crags. Lost for a turn. Yeah. <laughs> uh, my turn count's already kind of shot, so I'm not worried about that. Let's go to the fields, draw a card. Hobgoblin. Okay. 12. Yep, I beat him. That was easy. Okay. Alright, let's see. Three. Uh, let's go here. Go to the woods, draw a card. Cave. The cave will remain here for the rest of the game. So I gotta roll a die and either attack by a dragon, a goblin, lose a turn, gain gold. One, attacked by a dragon. How lucky. Man, look at that. Double box card deuces. And since he's a seven, just like the last dragon, go to my trophies. Oh, I don't get him? <clears throat> I guess not because it's a like an effect from the card. It wasn't him out in the wilderness. Oh, well. Um go here, because when I'm not crossing the bridge, all you have to do is draw a card. Uh, goblin, this will be easy. Okay, he's dead. Okay, let's go ahead and... Do I have enough in here? Three, four, five, six. Another turn. Alright, getting closer to the ogres here. Rolling the forest. I got a two, which is lost for a turn. So now I hope to get another two. There we go. Okay, we're going to fight these ogres now. Should be able to do it this time. Five, got a 14, and they got a 12. Okay. So they both go in there, and now I have the princess. Now I need to get her to the desert and abandon her because I'm evil. Otherwise, if I was good, I would need to get her to the castle. The desert's over here. Let me go ahead and turn in five. What happened there? All right. Let's turn in five and two. That goes up. Do I have enough five, six, seven, eight? Do I want to? Yeah, I'll go ahead and waste one. Look at that. I'm getting pretty strong. Okay, so now I need to get to the inner region. So what I want to do is head this way, go to the fields, fight the bear. Okay, this will be easy. I'm going to go ahead and go to fight the sentinel across the bridge. Four, I'm on my way. The woods draw a card. This game is almost over, fellas. Okay, four, so I'm going to go up in here. Now, do I want to go to the ruins? Yeah, that's fine. But I have to fight the sentinel first to get through. Okay, strength of nine. I have 11 to begin with. Uh, let's see. I don't even have to re-roll. two beat him. Okay, so I make it to the ruins. I have to draw a card. A witch. Lurks in this space for the rest of the game. Boy, I hope I don't become a toad. Here we go. I became a toad. Well, I can re-roll. Whenever you see the die is purple flashing, that means you can re-roll. I'm definitely doing that. Five, I gained a spell. So when you gain a spell, what you have to do is look at your craft. 
that determines your maximum amount of spells. A craft of two, let me see if there's a chart, no. A craft of two is too low, you can't have any spells. Uh, I think if you have a three or four, that allows you to have one. This is the spell deck, so uh, as a warrior, spells are pretty low on the priority anyway. Okay, so here's the chasm. Uh, let's just go ahead and do this. Roll to one. What does that do? Okay. And one for each of your followers. If a one or two is rolled for yourself, you lose a life. That's okay. If one or two is rolled for a follower, it is killed. Ooh. Okay. The good thing is, I, st I always have that fate. Oh, that would be bad if she died. Nope, keeping that. Okay, and we're headed to the desert. Oh, not yet. Let's go to the temple. I roll two dice, and I get a seven, which is gain one craft. So now I have three. I bet you I can have a spell now, but don't need it right now. Man, I just can't get in the desert. Warlock Cave. Uh, this is where you can get quests. Uh, but it says you may roll. I don't want to roll, so I do the X. So when you're playing the real board game and you get a quest um, from the wizard and you complete it, you get a talisman, which is where the game, the name of the game comes from. Because you need a talisman to get past, I don't know, one of these squares to get to the crown. You have to have a talisman to pass a certain square. And that's one way to get a talisman, is to take a uh, quest from that wizard. Oh, golly, I can't get into the goofy uh, draw three cards. I can't get into the goofy uh, desert. All right, let's fight this guy. That's easy. I didn't even have to roll. Okay, take a gold and take a sword. And being a warrior, one of my abilities is uh, you may use two weapons at the same time. So I have both my sword add plus one, axe plus one. That's why I s you see it plus two there. Let's see if I have enough trophies. Three, six, seven. I don't need that. I'm just trying to get to the desert at this point. Let's go to the temple. I get a 10, gain two fate. That's awesome. Six. You know what? I'm going to re-roll that. I'm trying to get just... There we go. In the desert. And I drop the princess. See right there? Oh, I got two. So that's, that's not bad. The princess is finally dealt with, and you can now focus on protecting the land from its fearsome enemies as... An evil warrior, I suppose. So that's pretty cool. I wasn't really expecting to get one talisman out of that, but I got two. So my total score is now 13 for my warrior. All right, and that was the Royal Delivery, Warrior Quest number three. Thanks for watching. Come back for number four. See how that goes. Boy, I hope each of these doesn't keep getting longer. Bye.